what's normal in how our memory changes as we age? Who wants to address that one? What's normal aging of the brain? I guess I'll t I could take a stab at it. So, uh, well, I guess, you know, one thing to, um, so who runs as fast as they did when they were 25? Anybody? <laughs> no. Um, you know, and we, we don't think as fast as we did when we're in our prime. Um, you know, so the brain changes just like our body changes with age. Uh, so we know there are things that we, that, that we expect to see with age in terms of memory and thinking. And uh, things like what we, what we call working memory, the ability to hold a, a little bit of information in your brain uh, to, to act on it. Um, this is an outdated example, but looking up a phone number in the, in the phone book, which we don't use anymore, but the phone book, and then walking across the room to the landline to dial. Holding that, that uh, phone number in your brain for that 30 seconds is uh, working memory. And that, that becomes a little less efficient as we get older. The other thing that we see pretty much universally is as we get older, that tip of the tongue syndrome where you want to remember that person's name, that movie star name or that restaurant name and tell, to tell that story, and it just doesn't come. It's usually a name. Um, and, you know, so that tip of the tongue syndrome, the information's up there. It's been encoded, as Russ was talking about. Uh, you're just having a little bit harder time retrieving it, pulling it down. Um, so, you know, we see things, we, we do see those kinds of changes with age, and, and those are normal changes. Um, you know, the big question, and what we do when we're seeing patients uh, is, you know, is it abnormal? When is it abnormal? Um, and, you know, so some change with age is expected. But when is it abnormal? It's when we start to see uh, people who are used to doing something their whole lives, now they're having trouble doing it. Um, so new problems that tend to be progressive and what we, the phrase we use is interfere with daily function. Um, we're starting to see interference with the ability to do things that somebody's always done, like maybe balance a checkbook, pay the bills on time, do the taxes, uh, driving through, you know, familiar areas, um, those kinds of things, or forgetting conversations um, that they've had, maybe having repeat conversations. Those are the kinds of things. They're new problems for this individual, and uh, they tend to be the big red flags that we look for to say this is not the normal type of aging-related changes. So I could go.